Uh, Matt, in the first, uh, you had a lot of offense in there, probably a 12-8 uh, if it had gone to the scorecards. Were you expecting a stoppage at that point? I was, yeah. Uh, I came up with that leg lock and I was able to you know, stay heavy on top of him. And I thought for sure I'd be able to put him away. I just punched, pushed my heart out, you know, and literally in the second round I felt it. So uh, not putting him away, I was a little upset with, but uh, I was able to get the job done. I want to talk about something before the fight. Uh, I know you spoke about your brother suffering an injury at some point, uh, quite a bit of turmoil. W what was that about? What was the situation? Well, uh, sadly, uh, if you see this evening, I love you, for one. Um, but my brother's homeless, uh, struggles with addiction, my, a lot of that family has before. Uh, and he was actually shot and he lost his life on the streets. So uh, dealing with that, coming off the loss, uh, I lost my last fight. Um, it's tough to see him through that. So. Uh, um, a lot of people deal with things like that, and that's not meant to undermine mm -hmm. what you're going through in your family. But uh, any words to uh, other people who might be struggling with addiction or might have um, that going on in their family? Yeah, just stay tough. You know, um, if they're not ready for the help, you know, you can't help them. But uh, show them the love anyways, because you don't know. Then we'll be there tomorrow. Do you look at fighting as a platform you can be on to sort of fight for your brother and your family who are going through the tough times? Uh, since the beginning, fighting has been, uh, it's been the goal to make it a platform and uh, share my feelings with the world and, you know, be raw with it, you know, show my feelings, uh, be who I am and, you know, hopefully inspire others to, do, to you know, follow the same thoughts, uh, footsteps. Going through that sort of emotion, was there ever a point where you considered maybe backing out of the fight, maybe I'll go pushing back? No, if anything, I, I was more motivated, you know, um, I don't want to let something like that drag me down, especially if it's not me, you know, hopefully he sees it, Steven, and, you know, you can be here too, buddy. Matt, there was such a fast turnaround between, you know, your Contender Series fight and the fight with Shaman. Uh, how much more confident were you, again, even with the stuff that happened in between, uh, you know, the last few months, going into this fight, just talking about the, you know, preparation itself? Yeah, um... I was really confident coming to this fight. I was really hungry. Uh, I wanted that W back uh, really bad. I thought I got it that first fight, but the judges saw it differently. Um, I tore my retina in that fight, and uh, you know the judges didn't know that. So um, after that fight and dealing with the things after, I was I was a little angry, and I wanted that W back, and I wanted to show the world what I'm about. Any issues with your eye now? The no, it's actually part? fine. Yeah. Was this the best way you could rebound from a loss, just considering in the first round you rocked and you showed a you know really good striking, in the third, of course, you won by submission. You showed a bit of everything. Right. Could, could, could the fight and, and, and sort of the rebound fight gone any better? Um, I think for the fans, it's a great fight, and it shows a lot of what I'm about. Um, that second round is tough. I had a battle through adversity. He had a really good deep choke in there, and I was able to defend it, and you know that's what I'm about. I, I can come through uh, the worst of it and then still come back and get away. So I'm just glad. Uh, I'm actually glad it went that way because now you know the fans are going Talk us to that finish. Did you see it or was it just kind of going in the moment? Because you went quickly from stuffing to mounting to um, arm triangles. And throughout this camp and before, that's one submission I'm good at. Uh, there's a few that I'm good at. And uh, he was off balance on that shot from the underhook. I was able to step over to mount when I saw the opportunity and I was thinking strike, strike, strike. And his arm just kind of came across and my left arm was underneath and I saw that I recognized the position and I just went for it. Him my, my own Did he go out? Because just after he tapped, you saw him get up. I don't know if yeah. you saw the footage, so he almost started wrestling with after, the ref. Uh, he was stumbling around, and I, I heard him wheezing, I heard him breathing, and uh, he tapped, but I didn't let go right away because the ref didn't pull me off. So, you know, possibly those chokes are, are really tight, you never really know. But uh, I did see him after, and he looked a little wobbly, but you don't know. You know your brain's real messed up after a fight, so you know, I couldn't say for sure. What's the uh, plan moving forward then? Would you like to get back in quickly? Do you have any names in mind? Yeah, I want to go. Uh, I want to go home. I want to eat, enjoy my time with my family for a week, and get right back into the gym. And you know, hopefully, get back here in uh, three or four months and get another W. Uh, there's no particular uh, particular opponent. I got my eyes set on whatever the UFC gives me. And I plan on beating that guy too and working away over there. Thank you. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks again. Congrats. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. Thank you.